Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install uh, Beats Audio on basically any Android phone as long as you're running a custom ROM on your Android phone. So it, it really doesn't matter, it should work on I believe gingerbread and ice cream sandwich, it should work on either. Uh, but you just need to make sure you do have Clockwork Mod on your device, so obviously you'll need to be, have Clockwork Mod or a custom recovery to install a custom ROM. And being on that custom ROM, you can install this. Um, it, w it might not, potentially might not work on some devices. He is looking to update it more and more to get it to work on more and more devices. So it's been tested on a decent number of devices. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it. So what you're going to need to do is click on the link in the description of the video below. Uh, in case you're wondering, I am holding my uh, Epic 4G Touch up with a fly grip. I'm definitely going to want to check that out. I will link to my review in the description of the video if you want to check that out. But anyways, click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this website. Big, big shout out and thanks to Rocco Dev. Big thanks to him. Familiar with his work from over with the Photon 4G. But anyways, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and scroll down. Keep scrolling down. Um, and the latest download is right here, 3.2.12, which would be his latest update. Um, I'm sure he will come up with updates in the future. But anyways, as you can see, uh, tested devices, Samsung Galaxy S2. I tested it on my Epic 4G Touch. I will get to those results in a little bit. Uh, Photon, Razer, and Atrix, those are the ones tested on. I'm sure others are being tested on now. Um, but anyways, um, just if, if you do decide to test it with your phone, Feel free to uh, comment on the video, let me know if it works or not using your phone if your phone is not in this list so we can get it added and uh, and get everything going there. But anyways, so click on this uh, link, download it, it'll be a zip file, just transfer that over to your phone, transfer that over to your SD card. Once it's on your SD card, you can actually go ahead and uh, go back to your phone. All right, so now that we have that zip file on our phone, either internal or external SD card, we're gonna need to go into your custom recovery. Um, it, it's different depending on what phone you have. Um, I mean, it, it all depends on what kind of phone you have. If you uh, need to know how to get your custom recovery, feel free to ask and I can try and look it up for you. But anyways, reboot into your custom recovery, whether it be Clockwork Mod, etc. But first, before we get into it, let me go over my results. I know some people are saying, oh, well, it's, it's kind of a placebo thing where you're paying attention to the audio and you think it sounds better. What I did to test it was actually, um, I used my Sony headphones. They're, they're decent quality headphones. I mean, they were uh, not too expensive, but they're actually pretty good headphones. I do, I do like them a lot, but these are the ones I tested it with. Um, the nicer the headphones, the more you should be able to tell the difference. But what I did was I listened to the same song over and over and over, probably four times in a row. I just listened to that same song, paid attention to it, kind of sang along with it, got the, uh, the lyrics stuck in my head, got everything stuck in my head, got the tune stuck in my head. And then what I did was I installed the zip and I went back to that same song, set up the same variables, same headphones, same sound, same, uh, same volume, and I replayed that song over and over and it definitely could tell there was a difference um it definitely to me it sounded like there was a difference there um it, it could be better or worse it's it's definitely different i actually did kind of like it um it, it worked well with the with the bass of the song but uh definitely try it out with, the, with this install method what i'm going to recommend first before you do install it is make an android backup so go to backups and restore in your custom recovery and make a backup so just in case you don't just decide you don't like it, you can just restore your Android backup so the, the uh, modifications won't be made anymore. So just make an Android backup, test it out, listen to some music. If you don't like it, just restore your Android backup and you'll be done. So anyways, so first once you make your Android backup, uh, what you're going to need to do now is go ahead and just go to install zip from file. Choose it from SD card, navigate to wherever the latest zip file. In my case, it's test0301.zip and hit yes, install. So it's just gonna go ahead and install, push all those files, it won't, it won't take long, the zip's not that large. And once done there, hit go back and reboot system. So then it'll just reboot your device and you'll be good to go. So that's all that you really need to do. I kinda wanted to just give everyone my opinion on it. I did get a few messages about it, asking if I would do a, bit, a video about it, so here we go. Here's my video, so there's, those were my results. It definitely sounded different, so definitely check it out. Make an Android backup, try it out. Um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video what your results are, what phone you have, if it works or not with your phone. So uh, yeah, I wanna see a lot of comments down there. But anyways, that's it. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.